This is a recording of our playbook. Download it from our website. Welcome to our whiteboard drawing, day two, CUCM, CUC, IMMP, and UCCX cluster installations, DRS configuration. This drawing describes how to configure DRS for your CUCM, CUC, IMMP, and UCCX clusters. Let's start with a quick overview and review. Here are the tasks for our Cisco collaboration, cluster installation and integration. On installation day, a literal day, we install our CUCM, CUC, IMMP, and UCCX clusters. Deploy all of the VMs from OVAs and attach the installation media. Install our CUCM, CUC, IMMP, and UCCX publishers. Install our CUCM, CUC, IMMP, and UCCX subscribers. Activate the services we need in the CUCM cluster when we install the IMMP and UCCX subscribers. Integrate IMMP and UCCX with CUCM when we install the IMMP and UCCX subscribers. Configure DRS for all four applications. Integrate CUCM and CUC with ELM. And do some final tasks like upgrade VMware tools and configure virtual machine startup and shutdown. Everything is installed or installing. The IMMP and UCCX subscriber installations are probably ongoing. We are going to proceed to configure DRS for all four clusters while these installations are completing. Start at 1445. Configuring DRS on all four clusters should take about 30 minutes. This is the Enterprise 20 deployment for CUCM, CUC, IMMP, and UCCX. ELMA is co-resident with CUCM Pub. We need to configure DRS for all four clusters. Where to get SFTP server software and how to configure it was covered in Jump to 9.1.2, Configure Jump Server Software. For our production environment, we created four folders to separate the backups for the different apps. You cannot configure DRS unless the SFTP server is properly configured and running. First up is DRS configuration on the CUCM cluster. Web browse to this address. In the navigation drop down box, select Disaster Recovery System and click Go. Log in using platform and your password. Navigate to Backup, Backup Device. The newly installed CUCM cluster has nothing configured. Click Add New. Configure the backup device for your production SFTP server and click Save. Make sure the SFTP server is started or the update will fail. The update should be successful. Navigate to Backup, Scheduler. Click Add New. We called the schedule weeknights and used the backup device just configured, Windows 2008 Server 1 and selected all three features, UCM, ELM, CDR, CAR. The components that are backed up are clearly indicated. We set the backup to run at 2 a.m. in the morning from Tuesday to Saturday mornings. We call this weeknights. Make sure the start backup at date is in the future. Remember to click Save Click OK to the message. Make sure the update is successful. And don't forget to enable the schedule. Next, we configure DRS for the CUC cluster. Web browse to this address. In the navigation drop down box, select Disaster Recovery System and click Go. Log in using platform and your password. Navigate to Backup, Backup Device. The newly installed CUC cluster has nothing configured. Click Add New. 
configure the backup device for your production SFTP server and click Save. Make sure the SFTP server is started or the update will fail. The update should be successful. Navigate to Backup, Scheduler. Click Add New. We called the schedule weeknights and used the backup device just configured, Windows 2008 Server 1, and selected all features but ELM. We selected CUC, Connection Database, Connection Greetings Voice Names, Connection HTML Notification, and Connection Messages Unity MBX DB1. The components that are backed up are clearly indicated. We set the backup to run at 2 a.m. in the morning from Tuesday to Saturday mornings. We call this weeknights. Make sure the start backup at date is in the future. Remember to click Save and click OK to the message. Make sure the update is successful. And don't forget to enable the schedule. Now we configure DRS for the IMP cluster. Web browse to this address. In the navigation drop down box, select I am in presence disaster recovery system and click go. Log in using platform and your password. Navigate to backup, backup device. The newly installed I am in P cluster has nothing configured. Click add new. Configure the backup device for your production SFTP server and click Save. Make sure the SFTP server is started or the update will fail. The update should be successful. Navigate to Backup, Scheduler. Click Add New. We called the schedule weeknights and used the backup device just configured. Windows 2008 Server 1, and selected the one feature, I am in presence. The components that are backed up are clearly indicated. We set the backup to run at 2 a.m. in the morning from Tuesday to Saturday mornings. We call this weeknights. Make sure the start backup at date is in the future. Remember to click Save and click OK to the message. Make sure the update is successful. And don't forget to enable the schedule. We'll finish with the UCCX cluster. Web browse to this address. In the navigation drop down box, select Disaster Recovery System and click Go. Log in using platform and your password. Navigate to Backup, Backup Device. The newly installed UCCX cluster has nothing configured. Click Add New. Configure the backup device for your production SFTP server and click Save. Make sure the SFTP server is started or the update will fail. The update should be successful. Navigate to Backup, Scheduler. Click Add New. We called the schedule weeknights and used the backup device just configured, Windows 2008 Server 1, and selected the one feature, UCCX. The components that are backed up are clearly indicated. We set the backup to run at 2 a.m. in the morning from Tuesday to Saturday mornings. We call this weeknights. Make sure the start backup at date is in the future. Remember to click Save and click OK to the message. Make sure the update is successful. And don't forget to enable the schedule. The subscriber installation should have finished while you were configuring DRS. 
DRS is configured for all four clusters. It's 1515 now. Why don't you go for a coffee? We'll integrate the CUCM and CUC clusters with ELM and then finalize the installations after coffee. Coming up next, CUCM, CUC, IMP, and UCCX cluster installations, installation finalization. Thanks for watching.